have our first female belt of the evening. And here we are with the female belt now. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing the GF Club, Anika Brown. Anika coming out to the Six Flags theme song. I don't know if you folks remember that that song, but uh, yeah, the, the little was bald a, old man. Oh man, that commercial was so <laughs> great. Oh, it was wow. so intense. I, it, it made well, me want to get up and groove. He obviously kicked arthritis' ass with that song. So. <laughs> <laughs> he was for sure on that Bears. Maybe he had a, a little bit of Mac Dre fizzle in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who knows what he had in that in, in that little spray cup, the, the, the little the little pump, you know? But this is great, you know. One thing's for, for sure, this fight is for sure going to be a, a certified banger, in my yeah, opinion. You, yeah, you got Anika Brown coming out of the Godfather Club. Uh, we saw her teammate there earlier, Felix. And, 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 you know, we got Jasmine Shannon, who's undefeated out of the Dragon House. She is a stunning performer. She goes out there and she knocks girls out stiff. Now, uh, you know, when you go camping and you're ready to go, and you just fold that chair up, that's how Jasmine Shannon leaves the females looking. She folds them right up and that's it. That's a wonderful analogy, El Gallo. <laughs> if I were to put it to for you for you people watching at home, when you see somebody go out cold, that is how she goes. Now, I have seen live Jasmine Shannon put the hometown hero stiff cold. All right, next up, and, and it was out nothing of the nice. Red corner representing the Dragon House right here in San Francisco. I, I will say, Jasmine Shannon. Uh, Anika Brown has her hands full tonight. If I'm Anika, I'm, I'm looking to grapple. For sure. I mean, that, that's at least one piece of Jasmine Shannon's game that we have not seen. But it's not to say that she doesn't have it. Because the last girl that she faced was uh, uh, ranked fifth in the nation. In wrestling. In wrestling. Yes. So, if you're going to have a chance against Jasmine, that's the avenue, but... Good luck. And the Dragon House is deep there, coming out with Jasmine. She, she is one of the rising star pupils out of that gym, man. She, she is just coming to, she is taking the sport by storm. I would not be surprised if she goes pro by the beginning of next year. No, not at all. I believe she's what, 4-0 maybe? Uh, she, yeah, she's standing at, the, I think, yeah, 3-0, 4-0 right now. Exceptional power in those hands, so. Yeah, we know. She's not nice with it. And she has entered the cage. All right. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing the GF Club. Anika Brown. Do we know Anika's record? And in record? the red corner, representing Dragon House MMA right here in San Francisco. We do not. We do not. With a undefeated 2-0 record, Jasmine Cutto Shannon. Let's go. Set. First female bout of the night. And Anika no just touch of the gloves. Straight to the action. Good job. Jab. Nice jabs there by Anika. Oh, and there's the shot. And she's down. Nice double leg entry. 
Anika Brown with a great takedown. She's looking to work pass here. Looking to take mount? She's got those legs tied up. And, and Jasmine doing the right thing here. Like digging that underhook. Lifting looking her up. There oh, it is. Oh, and a sweep of nice her sweep. own. Very beautiful work by Jasmine. Looks like she's tied in. If she could get her leg out, it seems like she may have a triangle there. But that, that right leg of Anika Brown is caught in between Jasmine's legs right now. Jasmine looking to uh, back out. Yes, she has control there. Nice hammer fist by Jasmine. She passes. And she's in, nearly inside control. Hard hammer fist by Jasmine. She's looking to sit back into her, relieve this pressure. Nice hammer fist. Anika with some nice jujitsu work. Yeah, she's rolling around fishing, looking for that sweep. She's able to control her posture very well. She's got an overhook on that right arm of Jasmine. Looking to kick off the hip, make some separation. But Jasmine with that relentless pressure. Looking for a... And she's got an omoplata here. Oh! She's got an omoplata here. Uh, it's a little hard for her to sit up because she's got the cage right beside her. And we got 10 seconds here, folks. Wow. Who'd have thought? E wow. E even in this female bout, you just see <laughs> the well-roundedness. I mean, you, you don't really get that anywhere else. No, and like I said, if, you, if you're gonna beat Jasmine, you gotta take her to the ground. And that's, yes. that's exactly Anika's game at, at this point. Uh, Anika seems like she's got the right game plan here. She's got a, 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 a very good set of coaches in her corner who are taking her through this. And very good jiu-jitsu because an elbow yes. product is not something you see from an everyday MMA fighter, you know. Especially not in MMA. And not at the amateur level either. The first time I've seen that. And both fighters are ready here. Anika's pacing back and forth, looking at her. Jasmine, Jasmine just so calm. Jasmine so calm. And look, and Anika's after her. Anika went to go touch the gloves, and Jasmine rejected it yet again. No love loss. Jasmine is out for blood, and Anika with a nice wow. right hand. They're throwing heavy leather here, ladies and gentlemen. Straight into the clinch. Jasmine fishing for that underhook. 50-50 position here. Uh, Anika hitting with some nice knees. She's put herself against the fence now. And, and Jasmine looking to back out and strike. Yes. I believe she slipped out. Oh, nice. She saw her coming that time. There it is. Ooh, nice left hook from Jasmine. Jasmine with a nice jab. And it's just a matter of time here until Jasmine finds that right hand. Oh, the Nika nice noticing uppercut. that Jasmine is ducking. Jasmine is putting her head right down into those strikes. She hit her with a nice uppercut there. Jasmine is fishing here for those underhooks. Jasmine wants no piece of the grappling. She's looking to get out of there and strike her up. And Anika fishing for that outside uh, foot trip. Anika also with a body lock. Wow. Jasmine fishing for those underhooks heavy. And there it is. Position. Oh, right, and, uh, right back on. 10 seconds. Oh, oh and she dropped right Jasmine hand. there. We're going into this third round. And look, Anika's staring at her fiercely. I don't, th I don't think she appreciated those two no touches. No. Not at all. She is staring her down like she owes her some lunch money.
you see the very well-famed Juma the Tiger there in Jasmine Shannon's corner. And now she reversed position. Ended up with her kind of coming out with an Oma Plata, but... Submission attempt yeah. from Nika. Again, so it's a good thing we're not judging tonight. Yeah, we, we don't have to make that decision. I'm at a loss of words. All we can do is talk you through it, and here we are. And the DJ is just persistent on playing this, uh, got a fight for the right. And, and Anika has a guillotine here, it looks like. Standing guillotine attempt. Jasmine fighting Jasmine the hands, fighting though. The hands she's, got, she's got, she's out of it. And Jasmine's smiling here. She's having just a lot of fun. I don't think it matters to her no, what's going on not. thus far. This is She is having fun here. This is home to her. And there it is. Anika breaks off with a strike. Jasmine with a nice step back. Overhand right attempt. Jasmine's Jasmine got her hurt here. Board on now. Wow, and they're throwing these heavy women are here. just swinging. No, please do not do that. Please do not do that. Do not stop you. Yes. Wow, and, and out of everybody here tonight that has not made their own timeout, it is Anika Brown who keeps fighting. I love it, Anika. Hats Thank off to you, you, Anika. Both women just putting on an excellent display. And a great double leg entry by Jasmine. She ends off with a single leg there. Ja wow, and Anika Brown with. Great with defense a sweep. She defended that single leg with a Kimura and rolled all the way through. Wow. And here she is back on top. Heavy pressure. Looking to climb over the mount. And she's in. She's in. Jasmine is fighting hard. Come out the back, though? Coming maybe. Up. Wow. Maybe. Out the back door. She's scooting. Has nothing. And Jasmine is out. Pushes forward. Wow, this is just such a great display of wrestling. Look at that. Oh, and they're nice still going hook. for it. Wow. Woo. What a war. What a war. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Hats off to these females. That was just absolutely amazing. They, they both fought hard. They both gave it everything they had. And you saw everything from striking, grappling, the transitions. It was just beautiful in there. And, and look, both women both think they did enough to get the knock. I love it. I love it. Again, I'm just glad I'm not judged tonight because... That's I'm right there with you, Big Bobby, because I, I would I would not be. And then uh, on top of all that, I don't know how to score. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? the judge's decision. Jeezy, 415. All right. Just give me that one more time for these ladies, please. One yeah, more please. time. Great fight, great fight. And we have a winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Anika Brown. I think the grappling made a big difference. Very much so. Uh, I, I mean, if you did your homework, you're not going to stand and bang with Jasmine Shannon.